today we're going to be talking about getting the 3DS running on your Steam Deck using the Citra emulator. Uh, also installing some HD texture packs to make your games looking as good as possible. Let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the Dis Discovery Store and install the Citra emulator. Once that's installed, go ahead and launch the Citra emulator. Now I have mine already configured. You're going to see a blank screen. All you need to do is double click and link to the folder that has all of your ROMs in them. Uh, make sure they're compatible ROMs. Um, mine are mostly .3ds files um, and they need to be de decrypted. Uh, if you try to run your 3DS file and it turns out to be encrypted, uh, I'll link a tutorial below on how to decrypt your ROMs. Very simple step, uh, but you'll need it if you want to run the ROMs that you have. So the first step, let's go ahead and configure. Um, and the first thing you want to go to is go to the graphics, change it from native to 3x native. So the resolution will be 720p, which already makes the 3ds games look really good um, and then go ahead and click uh, use custom textures and preload custom textures we're going to be using this a little bit later so go ahead and check those i like vsync go ahead and enable that if you want controls you're going to need to uh, create your own controller profile uh, i have one for the steam deck Pretty self-explanatory. All the buttons pretty much line up to what's on the 3DS. Um, so go ahead and set that up. Some hotkeys to be aware of. Uh, we'll get into this a little bit later when we're setting up custom controls. Um, but we want to keep an eye on swap screens and toggle screen layout. Uh, those are the two most common ones. So now that we have Citra all configured, um, let's go ahead and get into the HD texture packs so these you kind of got to uh, search the internet for a bunch of these um, I found this kind of developer Enrico Magnifico uh, has a lot of great ones um, so in this tutorial we're gonna go through and download the Super Mario 3d land uh, HD texture pack uh, but if you go to his page he has a patreon and this guy does a lot of great work um, but he's also made a lot of these uh, available for free. All right, so I found the 3D World uh, texture pack. So let's go ahead, bam, download it here. Uh, and there's two, one of them's gonna be the 4K, one of them's gonna be the 1080p. Uh, go ahead and download that one for the Steam Deck. If you're interested, you can always run 4K on your desktop and it is awesome. All right, so here's the download. Uh, I like to create a folder for it just because when you unzip a lot of the stuff, there's a bunch of files and they all get mixed up if you just unzip them in a general folder. Um, so go ahead and move it there. Cool. Let's uh, extract here. Okay. So you go into here and we're, uh, a lot of times when you download these texture packs, uh, they're going to come with like custom versions of Dolphin. Uh, and a lot of other stuff that we're not going to need. The only thing we need, um, go into users, load textures. This is all we need. And there's two folders. This is also kind of confusing because um, a lot of times it's like, which one do I need? Um, but this looks like, so this one doesn't have anything in it. This one has all the textures in it. So usually the folder that you want to import will just have just a bunch of textures. Um, so that's the one that we want. So we're going to copy that and then we're going to go into the Citra location where it wants uh, custom textures. Um, so to get to that folder, go ahead and click home, deck dot var uh, app and then you want to find the citra emulator folder great uh, data citra mu load textures so i already have a bunch in here and i think i already have the mario one in here so go ahead and paste it here and so this big long number is a game id all right uh, once you've loaded the custom textures to the right folder, uh, go ahead and open the game. It 
This might take a while. Just let it do its thing. Cool. Okay, one more thing that we need to do is to set up the custom hotkeys. So go ahead and open the Steam app. Go to settings, controller, desktop configuration. Whatever configuration you're using right now, or we're just gonna add two mappings to both L4 and L5. Uh, if we go back to Citra and we look at the hotkeys, we'll notice that swap screens is F9, toggle screen layout is F10. Like I said, those are the two most common. So go ahead and map one of them to F9 and then L5 to F10. Uh, and then save, hit done, close out. And those hotkeys will enable us to both swap screens and this screen just acts like a touch screen. So go ahead and tap the screen on your Steam Deck and it'll activate just like a 3DS. And then the toggle, if you need to use both screens at the same time, uh, you can go ahead and choose whichever layout you prefer. Uh, it just toggles each configuration already set up on Citra. And there you go. So now if we got it all working on desktop, and one of the limitations of Citra right now is that it has a hard time booting from gaming mode. Um, so don't try to use the Steam ROM manager at this point. It may change in the future, but as of right now, the only way that I could get it to run in gaming mode is to add Citra as a non-Steam app. Which I like to do that just by right-clicking the application and clicking Add to Steam. Once I do that, we can go into gaming mode. Once we're in gaming mode, we can go to library and open Citra. Once that's open, we can click the game. should run just fine <laughs> one thing that we need to do is set up the hotkeys and you can do that by going to controller settings and then mapping the L4 and L5 button both to F9 and F10 once we've done that we have set up the Steam Deck for 3DS games using an HD texture pack. So enjoy. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you found this content useful. Uh, next week, we're gonna be going over uh, some GameCube games and loading some HD texture packs on uh, Dolphin. Uh, so games like Pikmin 1, uh, Twilight Princess, uh, and some other games and that I found to run pretty well with the HD texture packs uh, So please uh, subscribe if this content is interesting and useful to you uh, and we'll see you again next week What is going on? Mm -hmm.